Hey everyone, it's the 25th of December, so we know what day that is. So, I just want to wish everyone a belated Happy Christmas, and I hope you all had a good day. Um, I did. It went well, you know. I spent it with my mum, stepdad, and my brother, because my sister lives away. <laughs> She's uh, not local anymore. Although she did come up uh, last Friday. Um... So, I just thought I'd show you the random gifts I got, actually. I think some, most of my viewers would find interesting. There's some My Little Pony Friendship is Magic stuff, so, and I know I don't have very many um, Brony subscribers, so... But I'll show them anyway, because I want to show everything. And also, in relation to the My Little Pony stuff, I do plan to do a video explaining why I like such a... a a girls show or a kids show you know because it's it's probably not as straightforward as you might think anyway as it's staring me in the face here and I've got a box on the floor I've got a carrier bag in the hallway and an item in my coat pocket I'm as organized as ever aren't I to do these videos that reminds me I don't want that but I want my sim card out of this phone I'll do that later. I'm going to just uh, wet the whistle as the time goes. I don't know how these um, TV presenters do it, you know. Talk and talk and talk and talk. And I find just doing, you know, repeated takes of these videos, it can really dry out my throat. Anyway, I got five My Little Pony items. My sister got me Soren here, which is a character from the show, obviously. I've got an emo behind me. I think you might have just saw his tail over this shoulder. Yeah, he's actually on the desk behind me now. He likes sitting up here for some reason. I don't like him sitting up there because he gets in the way of the computer mouse. Really? <laughs> anyway, my brother, because my family, you know, they're not bothered by a lot and they accept my hobbies and everything and it rests so I've got two pop figures from my brother I've got Rainbow Dash there these are actually from the movie as you can see there it's one of the main characters in Sea Pony form in case you're wondering uh, yet in the same with Flash Eye here and looking at the back there's four to collect 12, 13, 14, 15, or at least that's what's on the back of that one. Same on that one. I'm, well, I wasn't going to say something stupid. I was going to say, I don't know if these pop figures are by Funko, but... <laughs> down in that bottom corner, it says Funko. So yeah, they are Funko pop figures. I think these, I'm going to leave in their boxes. So. I think that's the most boring bit. Um... My brother also got me some PC peripherals, a Logitech gaming keyboard, a G105. I haven't looked into it properly yet, but um, I don't know if it's a good keyboard. He's better at picking things like this than I am because he is, yeah, I'd say he's a gamer. He's always playing on his PS4 and whatnot, um, and he'd like to get into PC gaming eventually. I think he plans to do that in the new year. But he's got to have some um, work done on his car first. He needs the brakes done. So yeah, I've got the Logitech keyboard there, which is great, because I'm actually getting a collection of PC games on this one as well. You know, it's, I didn't want to just get into all this old games. I want to get some modern ones as well. And uh, a friend of mine actually linked me to a game called Subnautica, which is free. Haven't had a chance to play it yet, but it is installed. But that's through a website called Epic Games, which I'd never heard of until I was linked to it. And you download their launcher, which is basically like Steam. You can access the, your library of games, you can access the store, because they sell games on the site as well as um, have free games to play. So, yeah, I've actually, just this morning I downloaded Bus Simulator 80. Bus Simulator 18, not Simulator. I don't know what the heck that word was, but never mind. 
Yeah, so now is um, Fortnite. That's the other one I want to download and put on the PC because that's actually free to play. I didn't realise that. Anyway, the next gift I'm going to show you is a gift that I've been after f all year, actually. A set of these um, ratchet spanners. See, they've got the ratchet bit on the end. So you just walk up. I don't know if you can hear it click. As well as me scuffing my finger on the plastic. Yeah, I've been wanting a set of these for a while. Because um, that ratchet mechanism is actually a big help in certain situations when I'm working on a bicycle or, or my moped, for example, and I need to get to a tight spot. It's a lot easier than putting a spanner on, turning it, taking it off, put a spanner on, to, you know, especially in a tight spot. With a ratchet one, I can just slide it in there, click it on, and use it as a socket and r ratchet, basically. But uh, every time Lidl had these in, it was on the week where I didn't get paid, so I had no money. So I couldn't get the damn things. But uh, not to worry now. They don't come in that variety of sizes though. There's 13mm, 8mm, 10mm, 14mm and 17mm. Which actually isn't a bad combination because they are probably the most common wrenches I use on a bicycle, oddly enough. 17mm for the lock nuts on the wheel axle. 14mm is usually um, a seat post nut, not the seat post nut, the actual seat nut, depending on what style of seat you got. Again, 10mm is a very common bolt on a bicycle. Could have done with a 9mm rather than an 8mm, to be honest, but I know there's places that sell these separately, so if I want to add to these, I probably could. I might actually go on eBay in the new year and see if I can. Add a 9mm and a 15mm, they're the only two I'd want to add to these. I know my stepdad bought a 13mm not long after they moved into the house down here, actually, because we needed it for roof supports. Uh, I've not missed anything out here, have I? No. Right, I'll go back to the box. What's that? Well, that's the instructions to a present I got. Look at this. It's a bicycle bike tool. I don't want to actually use that on a bike. I think it might actually be a bit awkward, but at the same time, I think it's quite a novelty thing. And if I actually had a proper bicycle workshop or something, that is something I would actually hang up on the wall for as an ornament sort of thing. Uh, 14 tools in one. Should we go through them? I'll read them off the back to you, shall I? Quarter inch hex bit driver, 8mm box wrench, 9mm box wrench, 10mm box wrench, 15mm box wrench, 16mm box wrench, then it's got a 14G spoke wrench, a 15G spoke wrench, bottle opener, unless you're drinking beer when you're on a bike ride, I'm not sure why you'd want a bottle opener, but... Unless there's sort of not, is there non-alcoholic beverages that need a, to pop the lids off? I don't know. I've not seen any. These days they usually screw on the lids, I mean. Um, 5 mil hex. Crosshead screwdriver. 4 mil hex. Uh, 6 mil hex. And the keyring hole to put it on your keyring. I think that would actually annoy the hell out of me in the pocket. I suppose a Phillips because that's a common screw on bicycles as well. well I just like that because I thought that's just cool. It's in the shape of a bicycle. That I've incorporated two of the box wrenches in the actual shape of the bicycle. <laughs> so in that sense, yeah, I found that quite interesting. It's been sold in my local Sainsbury's. They get gifts like this in every year. Right, what's next? Oh, did I show you this one? I don't think I did. I think I got carried away with the bicycle. That was from my sister. Was that 100 Hits, the best disco album? I did want a couple of other CDs, but I didn't get them. But I don't matter. I'll see if they've got them in the new year. Right. 
something I shouldn't have because I'm diabetic but a few of these every now and again ain't gonna hurt because a few of them actually don't have that much sugar in them at all. but I've actually found out that chocolate does give me bad heartburn doesn't actually give me the runs like I thought it did it gives me bad heartburn instead so I can't win um, also I've got a box of, I might sort of disappear off the camera for a few seconds while I reach into this box. Um, I know these came from Lidl as well, that's a Lidl brand. But they are, if you can't read it, uh, mini marzipan and butter stolen. I think that says. Not something I would go mad over, but they're not bad to be honest. You're right behind me there, Nemo. <laughs> um, uh, there's some puzzle books because I'm always pinching Mum's magazines to do the, some of the puzzles. <laughs> Arrow words because it is one of my favourites to do in her magazines. Uh, along with word search, and there is another one. Code breakers. I like doing the code breakers. And there's another word search book. Win two and a half grand cash. What are my chances, though? <laughs> well, I suppose if I enter, it's not going to harm anything, is it? So yeah, I've got three books here of those. Oh look, I didn't take all my undies out. I did get some. <laughs> I deliberately left all the um, socks and undies at Mum's because I didn't, th well I couldn't get them all in the box. I thought I'll leave them on the laundry basket at Mum's so I can bring them home with the laundry. Because I didn't deem that as really interesting but they um, got left in there. There's another box there and I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah I can. Right, well, I can go through that. No, they can't. Why am I throwing them that way when my underwear drawer is over there? Oh, well, never mind. And this is actually the second one I've got. I've got one in brown. One of these. Now, I'm actually crossing my fingers that this is better than my brown one. Because I've got a brown one. And you put the bricks on it and they just don't stay there. They fall straight off. It's crap. You know what the other coincidental thing is, I was trying to think of the right word, uh, during summer, because I've got a Facebook page, which is, I called it the Lego fan page, um, and I just shared, you know, different articles from, well, same as other Facebook pages related to Lego, you know, as well as my own things, like my things about my own town and whatnot. But anyway, someone contacted me, because I think I've got like over 12,000 page likes on that page. Anyway, um, they contacted me. I can't remember if I actually did it or not, but they asked me if I would promote this very mug, actually. I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, I don't think I actually did, because I weren't keen on it, because I didn't know how if this was an improvement. I mean, there's the colour of the one that I have got, which isn't good. Um, it is just a, a generic Chinese item, Shanghai, a Pudong, Shanghai, China. Yanchao Road. I can pronounce Chinese, apparently. <laughs> I didn't think I did too bad there, Yanchao. But anyway, I'm going to open this up later. I did give you a few little bricks in there to play around with. I mean, I've got some non-Lego branded sets in the bedroom that I bought from Lidl's and they're perfectly fine for the price, to be honest. Could be a lot better, but I suppose that means they would actually have to be sold at a higher price because I'd have to put more work into them, obviously. That's what, one of the reasons Lego is expensive because Lego puts a hell of a lot of work into what they do. Anyway, I suppose you could say Lego are perfectionists. I threw that box on the floor but it's empty anyway. Um, 
my sister also got me one of these <laughs> it's not an official GoPro it is just called an Action Pro um, waterproof up to 30 meters for a full hour apparently it's got HD as well I actually think they were selling something like this in my local quality discount store or QD for short um, yeah there's no mounts for like helmet or anything in here it's got a basic clip on it that is it um, so I think I'm going to have to get some mounts but it does come with a rechargeable battery it does come with a USB cable and there was one other thing that came with when I can find the list oh yeah it does come with one mount I might have to have a closer look at that mount and actually see what it can go on so I wanted something like this to go on the bike or my bicycle helmet will give me a use a um, excuse rather to wear my bicycle helmet more often you know I don't plan to use any footage when I'm riding my bike you know any footage that this captures uh, in a court or anything or to try and shame people I just want to record the silly things that I encounter when I'm riding my bike and then to get your opinion maybe on whether I was right or I was wrong you know because I've had that debate recently actually I still think I was right because to me this woman and her family just stepped out into the road without looking I swear down that they did not look she um because I mentioned this on a post on one of our local groups Obviously not her name, because I don't know her name, didn't know who she was. I just mentioned, you know, a family stepped out in front of me on this particular road that we were discussing. I blocked her in the end, because I don't know. I just didn't want to deal with her, I think. But uh, I'm pretty certain I was in the right, but again, without a camera footage like this, I... It would be my hers, my word against her word, basically, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be so lost when he passed away, you know. <laughs> I, I do. I love him to bits. Anyway, moving on, I've got one more interesting item in this box and I'll go and get the other bits. Uh, this one not so interesting, you know, it's the obligatory smellies as we call them here. <laughs> Don't think a Christmas is complete unless you get at least one sort of set like this. You know, a Link set or Brute set or, you know, whatever you like. Some men like Brute, some men like Old Spice, some men like Lynx. Some of us, due to our sensitive skin, have to have like the Nivea stuff or the Dove stuff. I can't help that because I'm covered in psoriasis. And uh, any of the really heavily perfumed stuff like Lynx really irritates your skin. Anyway, as far as the box of goodies go, this is the last item. I've just got to go and grab the bat. It's only just behind you, actually, in the hallway. My brother got me a gaming mouse as well. <laughs> How about that? I don't think it's anything super duper. Um, there is some um, software that I can download for this to, you know change a couple of the functions on this because it is an ambidextrous gaming mouse so I can switch the but if I was left handed I could switch the buttons around to suit my left hand um, if you're wondering what it is it's a Razer Abyssus uh, 3500 DPI optical sensor textured surface and side grips Highly tactile and ergonomic buttons. I think it is just a... Yeah, it's just a three button, I think. 
Oh crap, it's got a six foot cable on it. I don't need a six foot cable. I've got to go from there to there. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Um, might be a bit long. <laughs> but yeah, me and my brother were looking at this and uh, apparently there is a free software that I can download from their website. So I will do that because I might want to, you know, swi switch a couple of buttons or change the sensitivity sort of thing. Who knows? Um, yeah, so he's actually curled up and gone to sleep in the box now. So, I'm just going to go and grab, actually one item's in my pocket, but I'm just going to go and grab the other thing out of my coat pocket in the bag. Let's go grab the bag. There's not actually a lot in the bag, it's only like... I thought I might shut the camera off when I kick this tripod. Right, there's the bag, there's the coat. Come here, you bugger. Right. I didn't give myself a lot of room to move. Right, I'm back. Disturbed Nemo in the process. So. I thought I should get a more modern phone. But I do like my old phones too much. But I also like Nokia. And I believe it was last year that Nokia re-released a modern version of their old 3310. So what did my brother get me? A brand new 3310. Brand spanking new. It actually don't cost that much. Um, so I've got to put my SIM card in. If it accepts that we think this is unlocked. Or it could be locked on Vodafone. If it's locked on Vodafone, I'm not too worried. I'll just, when I've got a couple of spare pounds, I'll go to Argos and order a new SIM card. But, uh, yeah, I like this. I've actually had a look, I haven't taken any photos, but I've looked at the camera and uh, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I was surprised as well. I actually thought this phone was going to be a lot thicker, like the old 3310, but look at that. It's so thin. But I like it. I don't know if the well, screen I don't think is touch screen. I actually thought I've read I thought I read somewhere, I will get my words out, that it was um, gonna include touch screen as well. Not that that bothers me at all. But uh, yeah. Mum got a new mobile as well because hers had a knackered battery. She had to literally leave it plugged in all the time. Because as soon as she unplugged it, the battery would just go <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just spend a few, uh, literally like three quid to get a new battery for it, but she wanted a new phone anyway, so I got that. The other one, like I said, was is in my pocket. Ugh. Brand new, well not brand new, it is used, an Osprey leather wallet. I don't know if Osprey's a good brand or what it is. It's just a brand to me. <laughs> um, but my old one was literally starting to fall to pieces. I was actually losing five pences out of it. Out of the little um, coin pocket. This has got coin pocket as well. It's got all the card slots. Haha, <laughs> my bank card's covered. I think you've got to guess which one it was anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. Uh, obligatory Lego. I've got some bits of set in here and whatnot. Um, yeah, that was one of them. Uh, there's a Ninjago set. A bit of it. Like a dojo, this was. Uh, but I think the main models are actually in the bag. Yep. 
Now, why does that not surprise me? Bear with me two seconds. <laughs> I didn't think I'd make it at home with anything not falling off of these models. But uh got a big old tracker. Got now one of these, I've already got one. But I asked for another one for a reason. Because actually what convert it to a tractor I do, you know, with a proper towing hitch on the back, not this bloody thing. Okay, I'm done with the stupid accent now. <laughs> I don't even know why I started doing that silly sort of Somerset accent. But anyway, yeah, that's why I asked for another one. My sister gave me a choice, so I opted for that one, because I thought I can modify that one and keep one original. Anyway, moving on. Again, my little pony stuff. We have a big Fluttershy figure here. I've already got a rarity up there. That I found in a charity shop. Uh, oh dear. It looks like um, at least one of the three models didn't make it. At least not in one piece. <laughs> anyway, we've got another one. We've got Celestia. I knew I was actually getting these because I was there when Mum got them. But she wouldn't let me have them. Till Christmas. <laughs> Because she um, got me to pick the two that I wanted. I could only pick two. Uh, right, so other than the phone charger... And, oh, it's not actually that bad. It's just three of the legs have fell off of it. Bear with me a second while I reassemble this model. Right, I've got to remember where the legs go. Because there is a right and wrong place to put the legs on this. That's the phone charger. Just like an old fashioned charger. This didn't even... Didn't even break a sweat, you know. Didn't get hot at all when that was charging that phone. Hmm. Well, that will now show you that in just a second. I just want the other two legs. Right, so that one's got to go there. That one's got to go there. I can't believe all four popped off. Well, three popped off, not four. There we go. Put the legs on. Two, two, two. There we go. That's all that is. Part of their Arctic theme, sub theme for Lego C. Now, I would have thought this bit would have rotated, but as you can see, it doesn't. Which, um,. For a change, it actually made me feel a bit disappointed in the set, but it's no biggie. I can put a turntable on there to make it rotate. I think Lego do that deliberately sometimes to encourage the child to add to the model, you know. But then we've got this nice little police speedboat. I actually love this. This is actually my favourite, I think. Been eyeing this set for months. But kept putting off buying it for some reason because on the box it didn't look as good to me. But my brother got me this and I put it together and I'm like, that is actually an awesome little boat. So I'm happy with that. Anywho, that that is it, apart from socks and boxer shorts, which really ain't interesting. <laughs> I don't think any of you guys out there will want to know what sort of underwear I wear. <clears throat> That's going to leave you wondering now, because for all you know, I could wear frilly knickers. That would probably give people nightmares. <laughs> Sorry if that image is now giving you nightmares. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I had a good day. For some reason I couldn't eat all of my Christmas dinner, and I didn't fancy dessert either. I just... Mum's got a habit of piling up our plates anyway. But my brother and my stepdad polished their plates clean. I left a good, at least half of mine on the plate. I don't know, I just didn't feel hungry. I didn't feel like I had an appetite or anything. I don't feel sick. I've not got a headache or anything. You know, I feel 100% fine, so 
It's really bugging me. I did feel bad, you know, because mum had slaved over the oven cooking that lovely meal. And that turkey was gorgeous, actually. It came from Sainsbury's. Um, and that was a good turkey. Mind you, that turkey leg she gave me was freaking huge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I just felt a bit disappointed because I couldn't manage it and I don't know why. I think that's why it's bugging me because I don't know why. I don't know why, I just suddenly felt... I wouldn't say I felt full full. I just felt like I didn't want to eat any more, you know? Which is... <laughs> seriously unlike me. Um, obviously I'll go down to Mum's again tomorrow, it's Boxing Day. I might drag a bicycle down there because uh, I want to try and get the bottom bracket off. But I'm not keeping my home hopes up. My home's up. Keeping my homes up, I am Nemo. If you don't know what that means, then I don't either. <laughs> How's that looking? Not as red as it has been. I'm keeping an eye on this on the side of his cheek. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got a patch of fur missing. He's either rubbed like he was just then on the edge of this table, or he's scratched himself and pulled a bunch of fur out. And it's been like that for a good two or three months. It's not infected or anything. I am keeping an eye on it. Um, but it's bugging me, because he keeps scratching it and making it bleed again. And of course, if he keeps doing that, it's not going to heal. So I am thinking that in the new year, perhaps January, taking them to the vet and basically get their opinion on whether to put a, you know, a, what do they call it, the lampshade thing on them, the cone, that's it. Put a cone on him to stop him scratching that bloody spot so it heals. Because I've told the bugger before, don't scratch that spot. What do you do? You scratch the spot and made it bleed, because I noticed it yesterday. It all looks pretty bright red and fresh. He's actually cleaned it now, which is why you can't notice it. <clears throat> I don't know how he did it in the first place. I'm going to go and get you your cat treats, because I think you deserve those. And find out what that crash was earlier. I was sitting here watching this video actually, at, well I was either watching that or I was on Facebook, I was doing something on this PC anyway, and uh, he was through that part of the flat either in the bedroom or the bathroom, I just heard a crash come from through there and I was like, now was he knocked over? <laughs> but he knocked my fibre optic tree over twice the other night, I just laid in the bed and he jumped off the window ledge, the bedroom window ledge and knocked the tree over, so I stood it up, fell asleep, Woke up three or four hours later and he knocked the tree over again. <laughs> He's got something against that tree. But speaking of, you know, he, I've had him nine years, nearly ten, ten years. Now. He's never once touched this tree. And he's never once touched the tree down the bottom there, my main tree. Not once. He's not gone after the baubles. He's not knocked baubles off, only accidentally when he's walked underneath the tree. Because he likes to do that to get onto that chest of drawers. And of course he brushes up against the baubles and they just fall off. Although he hasn't done that this year actually. But uh, you know he's never actually gone up to attack the tree and to try and pull the baubles off or anything like that. Like you see in these umpteen videos of cats doing online. So I guess I'm lucky in that sense. But I don't fancy picking a tree up and redecorating it. In fact, if he did do that, I probably wouldn't have bothered with a tree at all. That wouldn't have been no point. Anyway, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to shut the video off. Get this edit up, edited up as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh, actually, by the way, I can't remember if I said this in the last laptop video, which will be going up after this anyway, but... Spoiler alert, I have 34 laptops in my collection. That's counting the ones that currently don't work. That number is probably about to go down by one as well. 
because I don't have a screen. I managed to get the Sony VAIO to power up. Um, I need to find that the screen had been smashed. Which, well, I actually knew that before I turned it on. But I took the screen out, found a matching size one. I've got one that matches connections and the sizes and everything. But the screw holes for the bloody hinges do not match. They're in different places. So Sony's being an ass with the hinges. They've put the screw holes in a different place. So I, I'll doubt I'll buy a screen for it. If I can't find one out of all these bits of laptop I've got, I'll probably just take off what I need or what I want and ditch the rest of it like I have the others. That reminds me, I need to go and check a bin bag of laptop parts, especially for that pink Dell I had because I want the mouse pad off of it. Don't think I took that off when I scrapped it but I've got a black Dell which looks almost identical to that pink one and I think the mouse might fit. Then again to save all that hassle I might just look on the old eBay and see if I can find one. Anyway, less rambling now. I'm going to shut the video off so thanks a lot for watching. Hope you had a good Christmas, and I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.